Hey, don't look at me like that. Maybe he was out on a walk, shed his antlers, and then drew a pentagram just to spook someone out. I really want to believe that, but it doesn't add up. Just, uh, what about Klaus then? What could be his role in that? And what about the creature I've seen before? No, it's getting all red again. Suddenly, I hear some rustling behind us. We were arguing so loudly that we didn't even notice someone approaching. I turn around, hoping to finally get some answers. Uh, okay. So, where's the other 13 werewolves? Are we gonna get a wood? Is there a thing down there? I can't tell. Oh, I guess I could look on that one. Why is he naked? But, it, this is not the answer I expected. Oh, fuck. Uh... Like, wait, shove, like, down, or shove, like, out of the way? I'm gonna do a safety save, just in case. I get behind, like, and push him towards the beast. No, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I guess I could just do that. Let's just run. I'm not gonna sacrifice the pure soul of Lake. I turn around, start running as fast as I can. It proves to be a stupid idea, because after a few meters, I stumble over a root, falling to the ground. Lake stops and looks at me in horror. Run, goddammit, just run! He hesitates for a moment before he dashes towards the forest. I turn around and face the beast. I've heard legends of such creatures. You know, basically wolves, but, you know, a little bit bigger, and like to be nudists. Something between us and our feral ancestors. But that's what they were, just legends. And here, before me, flesh and blood standing, stands one. It's towering, absolutely huge, beastly. Its broad chest expands with heavy breaths. Its massive arms look like they could tear me to pieces with ease. Its eyes are terrifying. Two white orbs, gleaming with bloodlust, looking straight in, into me. Only now that it hits me, then this is probably how I'll die. Time seems to come to a halt. Nothing around us moves. The only thing I hear is the hard, my heartbeat and the beat's heavy breaths. Reach out to it? Hopefully it's a woo. I raise him possibly and reach out to the creature. It stares at me confused. Frankly, I'm confused by my actions too. Curiosity. Curiously, I put my paw onto its chest. The fur covering its thick, coarse... It's thick and coarse. Probably the thickest I've seen. I brush it with my fingertips, touching the skin beneath it. Under its wolf-like pelt, the wolf-like creature is haunts like a furnace. Its whole body vibrates with a low rumble emanating from its chest. Emboldened, I raise my other paw, looking the creature in the eyes gently touch the size of its muzzle. I observe, it observes me curiously, and I can't help but wonder why it didn't kill me yet. I rub the side of my snout with my, the side of its snout with my thumb, then gently brush the underside of it with the rest of my fingers. The wolf-like creature half closed its eyes and continues to rumble contently. How absurd this might seem, maybe this is my way out? I'll drain it of its cum, and then yeet while it's sleeping. Good idea. If I keep it occupied for long enough, maybe Lake will return with some help. Knowing that my life depends on it, I go back to rubbing the wolf's chest with my other paw. Suddenly, the creature lowers its head to me, and I freeze in horror. Instead of biting me, it presses its nose against my neck, it takes in a whiff of my scent. I exhale loudly. For a moment, I thought I'm done. It's hot breath tickles my skin and causes me to shiver. I put my other paw on the wolf's chest and rub his fuzzy chest. His pecs are rock hard beneath the thick pelt. I have my paws wander down the creature's body. So we are wooing a wolf? What are we going on right now? Rubbing its fuzzy, its fuzzy belly, and keeps nuzzling at my neck. The beast puts its claws paw on, on my shoulder. It's such surprisingly light and gentle, and the pat and paw rubbing my shoulder slowly. 
and more intensely. Hey, are you there? Damn. I could have had sex with a werewolf.